So for this topic, sine cosine tangent graph, okay, this is actually the special topic that was added in into the syllabus, effective from 2020 onwards. Okay, so I will go through all three graphs with you and point out all the key differences about it. So for the first one, general sine function. So we have y equals to a sine bx plus c. So a actually represents the amplitude, b represents the period, and c represents the vertical translation. The first thing, okay, you can see the green dotted line that I drew there. Okay, those are the original form. So those lines are called y equals to sine x, where there's no changes to anything. So the entire period means that it formed this particular shape over here. Okay, it's considered as one cycle, we call it. There's a few intersection point, okay, which is 180 and 360. Okay, 180 was represented by using pi and 360 is represented using 2 pi. Okay, whereby the highest point will be located at 90 degree or pi over 2 and lowest point will be represented using 270 degree or 3 pi over 2. So the next one is when there's an effect of amplitude. Okay, let's say we are looking at y equals to 2 sine x. Okay, the 2 will now change the highest and lowest point of this curve. Okay, so they're intersecting at the same place. However, okay, the highest point of it now change from 1 to 2. And from negative 1 as the lowest point to negative 2. So this is how amplitude affect the graph shape. So the next one we have when your vertical translation C is negative 1. So y equals to sine x minus 1. What this means is that the intersection point is still the same. However, the entire thing was being shifted down by one row. However, for the next one, which is the period, period actually uses to calculate the cycle of it. Okay, so let's say we have sine two x here. So after substituting two pi over two, you will get to know that the cycle or the period now become pi already. So within one hundred eighty, you are required to complete the entire cycle. Okay, the green line is the original one. Okay, and now it was being squeezed. Okay, so the intersection point will be pi over 2 and pi, which is 90 and 180, whereby the highest point will be represented using 45, and the lowest point will be represented using 135. Okay, and then it just repeat the same thing. Okay, whereby for the general cosine function, okay, they are somewhat the same. Okay, the period calculation is also the same. Okay, the main changes is the way it started. So this is the main shape that's evolving around this topic. Okay, it's like a U shape or somewhat called the V shape here. Okay, so the black line over there will be its original form. And the red one is after the changes. So 2 cosine will then change the highest and lowest point the same thing. And with negative 1 involvement, we shift the entire thing by one row. And for cosine 2x, it will now squeeze the thing again. So one cycle will be ended at pi. Okay, so you can zoom in, screenshot this down, and have a good look of it.
okay the really tricky one will actually be the tangent function so i purposely included one of it at the bottom of the formula okay to show you how its original form looks like in default okay it will end in pi so it looks like this shape over here okay this is how it ends and it just repeat and repeat and repeat so when tangent equals to 2x it will now squeeze the thing smaller and tangent 1 over 2x it will now change your period into 2 pi so it stretch the tangent graph out and then since there's 1 plus 1 over there okay so the vertical changes will now be shifted upwards okay so this will be how it looks like after that so that will be for sine cosine tangent graph okay i hope you have a better understanding after watching this video